Here we're going to go over querying and transforming data. So obviously before we do anything, we've got to somehow get our data into Power BI. And we do this through the query editor. You can get data a couple of ways actually. First way you can, uh, within the Power BI model is you can, in the ribbon, go get data. And you get all the options that you get in the query editor uh, like so. And so there's Excel files, text files, database files, and even SAS applications. There's almost 200 different sources that you can query data from at the moment, and more adding all the time. What I'm gonna recommend here though, is to always, always go into the query editor, which is via uh, that icon there in the, in the home ribbon. The reason why you should do this is because data is never perfect. It's never in the optimal shape when you first get it. There's always some form of cleaning or transforming that you need to do before you commit it to the data model. And you can't do that if you bring data in directly from the model uh, front end, the front end uh, canvas area. You, you want to be doing this in the back end, in the query editor. First of all, you just want to be able to see what you're querying, make sure it's all uh, it's it's optimized for Power BI, and then you want to commit it. Because that's the other thing. And when you go and query something, you're not actually physically moving data from anywhere. You're just taking a snapshot. Think of it like a screen grab of where the data is actually sitting. And from that screen grab, you can then make transformations on it. You can filter out things that you don't want. You can merge it with other tables. You can uh, change column titles, so on and so forth. There's many, many different things that you can do. And we're gonna go over a few during this, uh, during this course. Now, the first thing we've gotta do is query. Query the data, so we're gonna find it. And in this case, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We're just gonna stick with some data that's in Excel. And this, to be honest, is going to where, you, where you're likely to do a lot of your querying too. Excel is a fantastic way to stage data. You know, a lot of the time, uh, you're coming from an Excel background and that's where your data is already. So if you can't directly connect uh, to the data source, like a, a, a database or um, some third party tool that you have or that you use on a regular basis, then try get it into Excel and then query query the Excel worksheet or, work, or, or table. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna find the demo data that we've got here. And then this brings up the navigator box. And so you'll get this from any data source that you select. And this is where you can actually preview the data that you might wanna bring in. And as, as we've gone over the data, you know, you know what these are. But the two key different uh, differentiators here are that we have tables and we have worksheets. Now, I recommend if you're staging data in Excel to always put it into a table because the, what Power BI tries to do, if you don't, is it tries to then query an entire worksheet and it guesses where the data range is. Sometimes, most of the time it guesses correctly, but sometimes it does not. And so you want to cut out any of the any of that uh, any of you don't you want to cut out any of those problems uh, if you can. So if you just put it in a table, which is very simple to do, you can name the table, and then you can make sure then you can be absolutely sure that it's only going to query the range, the correct range of where the data is sitting in Excel. If you do that, now let's actually bring in some data here. So we're going to bring in all our sales information. So as uh, as mentioned earlier, our sales are actually broken up in different tables. So this is a bit of an issue and it's not optimized for Power BI. So we, we're gonna actually uh, merge those tables. We're gonna, we're gonna bring them all together. But that's, a, that's, that's, that's something we're gonna dive into when we actually go through some of the things that you can do in the query editor. But we're gonna grab our, our customer table, our product table, and also our salespeople table. So let's now select all of these here. And so we'll, we'll get product, we'll get location, and we'll get customer. And then let's go okay. And so what that is gonna do is it's gonna bring all of those queries, all of those uh, tables from our queries into, into this query editor where we can make further changes. The first thing I always do when I come in here is I make sure that everything's named correctly. So I'm just going to uh, make sure that is named 
appropriately. I don't like any underscores. I don't like things in capitals. Uh, and there's many reasons for this that we'll go over in a moment. Now, the thing I don't need to change is these ones here because what we're gonna do is we're not gonna actually use these tables by themselves. We need to somehow create one table out of all of these. And it's not a difficult operation, but we're gonna essentially have to append these queries one on top of each other. 